Hi, I'm Dr. Siler at Siler Skin, and I wanted to uh, shoot this video to explain the difference between retinols and Retin-A, and the reason why in most patients we recommend retinol here for our patients. My wife has spent a lot of time, as you can see from all of the other videos about our products, that describes why to use different products, and I thought I would really explain the difference between Retin-A and Retinol. So Retin-A, also known as Tretinoin, which is the generic name for Retin-A, has been used for years, for mostly for acne patients, but in recent years it started to be used for anti-aging because of its help with cellular turnover. Um, tretinoin, i.e. Retin-A, is the active form of the product and can be very irritating to the skin. So a lot of patients that use Retin-A that don't have acne, they, they notice that although they do get better looking skin because of that cellular turnover, they have a lot of redness and irritation and you have to be very careful about sun exposure. A retinol is actually the precursor product to the active ingredient of tretinoin. And the body actually has an enzyme that can convert retinol into retin-A. So we recommend retinol for most of our patients because the, the skin tolerates it much better. It doesn't cause near, if any, the redness and irritation that a true retin-A does. But the body is able to convert that product into the active form in the skin and use what it needs and then any extra is not irritating to the skin. So. Uh, most of the time for our anti-aging patients, we recommend retinol. Uh, there's two different strengths that you'll see in my wife, Jill Siler's videos about the difference between the two and why we recommend one versus the other. But we also use it in our acne patients. The old school way of thought was, as you'll see in some of the other product videos, was to dry out the skin if you have acne and it's actually going to make it worse because you're always up and down. You, you're dry one minute when you dry your skin out with some type of product or cleanser and then you overproduce oil so the body causes more acne and you're never in equilibrium. So we actually will start our patients on a milder form of product with a facial cleanser, usually a retinol, uh, but we like to moisturize the skin to keep the body from overproducing sebum and oil and causing acne to come even more frequently. So that's the main difference. The main difference between retinol and retin-A is the fact that it will still give you the same result with acne patients and with anti-aging uh, anti and skin rejuvenation patients, but it's accepted by the skin a lot more and the skin converts it into the active form. It's kind of like an extended release product. So patients are much happier with that. Uh, we used to use Obagi, which had the, the, the active tretinoin, which was in the tube, which was prescription strength. And uh, we've converted to Skin Medica over the last three years, and, and our patients are very, very happy with it. Hardly anybody has, has wanted to use Obagi still since we've had Skin Medica, and everybody's been really happy with the retinol. So check out our other videos to explain all the other products that we carry, and uh, you're welcome to come in for a consultation if you'd like more information. Thank you.